Today we are gonna be showing you guys how to change the recipes for the crushing wheels. I realize this is one we haven't done yet, so this is gonna be probably a very easy one. We're gonna break this down. We're gonna show you how we find the resources we're gonna be using and then how we change it. And for starters, here we are on our desktop. So we're gonna explain a few things here. We're gonna be pulling the files from the default create mod stuff and we're gonna be showing you guys how to change it. But before we do that, I also wanna let you know that we will be live also on this channel playing some Minecraft. So stick around after watching the video and maybe you'll catch me live on the weekends. So we're gonna show you guys how to start everything from the beginning. We're gonna show you here that we actually have the create mod files and then we also have the actual cube.js scripts. We've showed you how to do this before, but we'll slightly go over some of the things just make sure you guys are all caught up on the more recent ways of doing it. But for starters, how do we get to our files? We're gonna close everything out and we're gonna open up first forge. So the mod pack that I am specifically playing is all of create. You wanna right click on your mod pack and go to open folder. You guys can see here that I have a already existing cube.js folder. Let's just go ahead and go into it and we're going to go to server scripts. Now we already have a crushing wheel recipe here because I'm going to be modifying it and adding stuff to it for this video. If you guys don't have any recipes in here, all you want to do is right click, click new, click a text document. And instead of just changing that, click control A, highlight everything. And we're just going to give you like a little tutorial here on this part. Give it a name, some sort of underscore if you have more than one name. So we're just going to do new, new, just show you for two words, you put an underscore, and then dot JS. When you click enter, it'll ask you if you want to exchange or change the file extension name. You click yes, and then now it'll be a dot JS file. That's what we need to do to change the file over to make Minecraft work with it. I'm going to remove that one because I already have one here called recipe underscore crushing. As you can see, it is empty and we're going to show you guys how to actually grab files. And we already have one here, but we're going to go ahead and close that out for you and click don't save. Now we're going to find our original files that we're going to be modifying and using. We're actually going to extract the files from the Curse Forge mod pack. So once again, you can open your mod pack up by right clicking and clicking that. Clicking the open folder and going to mods. And if we just look up the word create, let it load. And you see we got a bunch of different things here. Do you want to just find the default create right here? So this is a 1.19.2 mod. I'm going to go ahead and copy that jar file somewhere. And I have a folder in here called folders. It has all my different things in here that I keep in folders just so it's not on my desktop. And if we go to mod code, fi code files, which is just something I have, not code file, mod extractions, you see we have a bunch of different versions here from different mods for things that I am changing. And of course, you want to go ahead and paste that in here. Now it's going to ask me if I want to replace it. I'm going to click skip because I already have it here. You can see it's right here. And you can also see it's right here. How we get the folder itself is right clicking on the .jar file and clicking extract files, and it will give you this folder. This folder will have everything you need in it including any resources, any crafting recipes, any data for anything. But we want to go all the way back and we want to make sure we go into data, create, recipes, and crushing. And you want to find something you want here. We're going to do the cluster, the amethyst cluster, because this gives us more options inside the code instead of it being a straightforward crush something, get something. This also has options in there for mixing chances into what you can get when crushing down. So if we go ahead and double click on it, you can already see it's a .json file. And then we can go ahead and full screen this. Now, pretty much what we can do is just copy everything and paste it. We're going to have to fix some stuff because, of course, it doesn't like all of this. And I think the only thing it's really wanting us to do is adding the event.custom is what it looks like. So we see we have everything here for the actual code. And we just want to add the event.custom and server script recipe event or uh, yeah, server event dot recipe event so we want to make sure we have that because that's what tells cube.js hey this is a file you need to use and if you look here you can see it's all there like we need that so we're going to back this out and we're going to paste it and you can see we still have errors so we basically just need to go through and change some of these things last thing we need to add to this and make it work is another little one of those and another one of those and then we need to do the same thing down here so add another one add another one and then that is adding the code into the files. I will leave this code itself down in the comments. If you need more help, there will also be a link in the description or the comments for my Discord. We have a CubeJS help area there. You can ask questions or if there's people still in the Discord that know this stuff, they can help you. If not, I will help you when I get the time to respond in between work. 
But now let's go ahead and start customizing everything. By the way, make sure you just click Control S to save everything, just so if it does crash on your computer or your computer has something wrong with it, you won't lose any progression you have. So there's only a few things we need to change here. We don't want to change the type, but we do want to change the ingredients, the processing type, and the results, and the chances of another result. So what do we want to throw inside of here? So let's just do, just for fun, we're going to do Minecraft, we're going to do Diamond. And I think that should be tagged as a block. For some reason, Minecraft tags things as blocks, even if they're items, I think. So we're going to test that. I have not used a diamond yet on this before, so this is actually kind of me testing it with the video. Procedure time, this is 150, so we'll just set this down to like 10. And then the results we want to get is Minecraft netherite underscore, oops, netherite, yeah, underscore ingot. And we get a chance of Minecraft, or a chance of Minecraft netherite underscore block. And if you're putting the word block in there because you want it to be a block instead of an ingot, you need to change the item type to being a block type because it is a block, not an item, usually. See, I've been jumping around between .js and uh, data packs and stuff like that, and data packs work a little bit differently than JavaScript. It works completely different than like these files here that I'm working with. So for some reason, I've even made TikTok videos about it, asking questions of reason why this stuff recognizes items as blocks in data packs. I'm not sure if it does that in here, so we're also going to test that here. So we went ahead and clicked Control S to save. Now we want to go back into Minecraft and we want to do slash reload. So if we go ahead and look up diamond, we get a couple stacks of diamonds so we can do some testing here. And then let's go up to these crushing wheels here and see if we can drop something in there and see what happens. I don't know if there's a recipe for that. It looks like there may, oh, there we go. 230 netherite ingots as of right now. And it looks like it gave us ingots everywhere. And you can see right there, now we have the actual ingots itself. There we go. So they all should be funneling through. Maybe, yeah, they are funneling through. Oh, crap. Okay, so there is already a recipe, recipe by the way, it's called diamond shards. So that should be giving us diamond shards also. I did not realize that was a recipe. And I think it still went through. And what is the chances of the block? 0.05% chance. So what if we change this to be a 90% chance will it give us the netherite block or does it not take the tab of block or tag so let's do diamond go ahead and grab all of these and let's see what happens let's see if the chances is working or not getting a lot of the diamond things here i guess we probably should actually change that recipe so the diamond shards don't do that i guess let's go ahead and actually look up that file and see if we can find it I'm going to try something else here while we're here, just because I want to attempt it. We're going to do a new text document. Now, you don't have to follow this. This is just me trying it and you guys get to watch it. So remove underscore recipe underscore one dot JS. Yes. And if we come in here and we post this line of code here, event dot remove in the output, we're going to do whatever it said here. So create underscore crush underscore everything create underscore crush underscore everything if i could type right everything i believe it would be that and let's continue to read here diamond shard diamond oops diamond underscore shard now i'm assuming this will work i'm not really for sure that also has it's deprecated so i'm assuming we have to do this at the beginning also let's attempt it here bam and bam and then save. I have no idea if this is going to work. I've never done this specifically. And slash reload. And let's see how many errors we get here. It says there's no errors. Also, I got that code from the wiki itself from CubeJS. So if there is anytime you guys want to learn something, but I have not made a video on it or someone else has not made a video on it, there's actually a really good wiki that they have online. It's not the best in the world, but it's a start. So I would highly suggest trying to look into the wiki. Not the best information, but it's worth a shot. It's worth, it's better than not having any information. So let's see if this worked. I think it worked. I don't see any more nether or any more diamonds coming out. And I guess let's just go crazy with it now. Let's see if we can get ourselves an actual chest too. And then control middle click to get an MBT data version of that chest. And it should just start working. Maybe a shoot. I don't know if these can drop items like that. This time it gave us this too. This is kind of interesting. So we're also getting this kind of recipe here. So can I just 
duplicate this event I remove output but then do we need to add another one so we're going to copy we're going to paste and then we're going to just rename this one from copy so remove underscore recipe underscore two and basically we're just going to open this up it's the same thing but we're going to do create addition is it additions or addition addition then diamond grit and we should be able to save that create addition it would help if i would spell it right now do slash reload again i put the s at the end of the word and there's no s okay that is that one done let's try one more time now that we got everything set up you know this video is everywhere but this is also me testing on top of everything else and now you see that one's full minus the one diamond grit that i didn't pull out of there from the other chest there should be absolutely no diamond grit there. Here in a few seconds, you'll see them start to fill up. That one's filling up. This one's already full trying to push items. We got a lot of it here and no block. We also get seven out of this and a chance of this. I wonder if it is because of that. I'm just gonna change this to an item instead of a block and see how that works. This and try one more time. There we go, we're getting blocks it looks like. Maybe let's get closer so we can see. No, we're not getting blocks. There we are. We have a small chance of getting blocks. We have a 90% chance of getting blocks, but still. You can see we're getting blocks and we're getting the actual item instead. And it does look like you do have to tag it as item, even though you're dropping a block. I guess it kind of makes sense because it's still an item being dropped on the ground that can be placed as a block. But still, this is the recipe. It should be down in the description below. That's how to change your QJS and your recipes or the crushing wills and if you want to see any more things like this or you have any questions about this all leave it down in the comment section below and we will also have a discord like i said make sure to join it we'll answer some questions in there thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one bye